And we're just about ready to start the third period of play here tonight. And Nashville wins the faceoff. He is holding it in the defensive zone. The Avs regain control. Bokun makes the save, going left side. Nothing doing that time. You have to love having a two-way player like this man on your team. You know why? You can put him on the ice under any situations and feel comfortable. From Henhouse, Korea fires it out under pressure, but no one's there to get it. He passes it to the right wing. And Nashville has the puck. Defensive zone. The puck gets set up the right side. Taken into the zone by Nashville. Along the corner. Over to Hamhouse. Sullivan in the corner. Sent back to the point. Man, this had to surprise everybody. Including the guy that got hit. Bob, we hardly ever see this guy hit with that authority. Wolski with the pass up the center with a glove save. He deflected that shot. We often talk about defensively getting caught flat-footed. You can be a terrific defensive player, but this guy's got so much speed, he can make even the best of them look like they've got heavy feet. Wasichek from Suter. And across the red line, it's tipped away. Passes it to the right wing. Iraq takes a bit of a hook on the play. Brunette through the zone with the puck. And Nashville has the puck. Defensive zone. He, he scores. And the ball standing. He just about as far left as he could. And just managed to knock it off the post and into the goal. Great play. It's painful to see a play like this if you're the goaltender. You're sitting in the net watching the rebound come off. And it's a nervous time for a very good reason. The shooter does a great job to pick up the rebound and just gets the shot to go in off the left post. Once it hit the left post, he knew he struck goal. That was a heads-up play in front of the net by the shooter. The Avalanche have brought the score differential down to three. The trouble now is they battle not only the opponents, but the clock here in the third period. It goes over to the right wing. Bokum saves that one, trying high right. The Perrier snags that pass on the left wing. Bokum stops it. He got the blocker ready. There it is, Nashville on the move. And he scores to put them up four here in the third period. That one looks like it'll just be icing on the cake as they coast to the... It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. The Predators have just smoked him here tonight. It's the third period. They have a four-goal lead now after that last score. And if you want to talk about a great offensive effort, this is what you're talking about. The puck has hit up the boards on the left side. Turgeon takes it past that red line. Play stops as he covers the puck. The Avalanche have just been doing terribly at winning faceoffs tonight. Here come the Predators with a chance. The puck is taken across the red line by Iraq. And let us, he scores. The puck dinged off the inside of the right post. Something special to behold here. This replay shows it better than real time. It happens so fast, it's hard to tell sometimes. But that puck hits both posts before it crossed the goal line. Oh, wow, Harry. Right behind the goalie. Right post, then left post. You can really see what happened better on the replay. We'll be seeing that replay in the highlight reel. That's a real humdinger. Don't you mean double dinger, Harry? Up through the zone. Down in the corner. The Avalanche have been flat all game long. They gave up the lead early and still have a sizable deficit to overcome if they want to win this one. Stranger things have happened, though, Harry. They need to do a better job at controlling the puck when it's dropped by. They are really getting beat in this area, and it shows on the scoreboard, and they're still looking to try and get back into this game. From Sullivan, Theodore with that pad save. Theodore again makes the save. Leopold passes the puck to the center. There they go, the abs on the move. Lightcroft carries the puck near the boards. Bocoon sends it back to the defenseman. Lightcroft is going to have the delay penalty coming up on him. Delay penalty coming up. We're going to see an interference penalty on the play. 
This face-off is to the right of the goalkeeper. It's ripped, and Colorado has the puck defensive zone. The Avalanche shot selection has been varied, as you can see, and they've been able to score twice tonight so far. These guys have just been pounding it from the left side all night, and you know what? It's working. have possession of the loose puck in the defensive zone and in the neutral zone and now the Predators with it in their own zone 2-2 controlling the puck at center ice carried into the corner Upshaw freezes him against the glass Wolski center ice it goes to the point the penalty has now expired teams at even strength Upshaw has it at center ice. The puck gets sent to the center, and now Colorado with it across the blue line. Bob, he just launched the top right twine seeking missile, and he got robbed on the play. The puck now to the right wing. Sakic checks him in the neutral zone. High risk, high reward. You risk missing him when you try for the big hit in the neutral zone, but he got the big reward with that huge hit. Arneth brings it up through the zone to Zedlicki from Arneth. Arneson gets pinned against the boards through the zone. Shot. What a defensive play to put the puck away. There it is. Nashville on the move. Two minutes left in the period. Theodore stops that one. It was going low right from Theodore. It goes to the defenseman. The distance pass picked off by Tutu. Arneson breaks it up with the poke check. It's sent to the right wing. Lapierre takes the puck through the zone. Under a minute to go. It's fed back to the point. And fired. That shot was stopped by the pad. Okun pulls on. On this save, Bob, the goalie shows some solid technique with the left goal pad. It was a decent shot, but the goalkeeper showed poise and confidence and made an easy-looking save on that shot. These guys make everything look easy, but I can assure you it takes a specific mindset to get in the way of some of these shots. That'll do it. The game has ended, and the score, 7-2. to two. Garrett Smithson. The second star of the game. Joseph has a check. And the first star of the game. Carson Hordichuk. And now we turn our broadcast to the Dodge post-game wrap-up. Starting off with some highlights from tonight's game. Didn't have any problem here tonight delivering a beating, Harry. Not too much to say badly about how this team executed their game. Looking back, what did you see as the most prominent factor in the domination? And that's going to do it for tonight's NHL action here on the 2K Sports Network. Thanks for being with us. I'm Bob Cole signing off for Harry Neal. Thanks for tuning in to this NHL presentation here on the 2K Sports Network. We'll see you soon.